I say, so we should be okay. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot. Put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh. The elf factory. And the gloop machine. The what? The gloop machine. Wow. This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on. That's the moulding machine. Ooh. And what do you do? I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What's fun? Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are. The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow, winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. 
there. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe it! But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum! Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy. Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, tell me back at once. Uh, no, have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. Ah, let me out. Wise old elf, have you seen Nanny? She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy. Did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly! Dolly! Oh, no! Nanny must be in one of these boxes. Ah. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, we'd better get started. Hug me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best friend. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait! I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no. You're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know. I made you. OK, smarty pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, one, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? This is the clockwork room. <laughs> Spinny Ickle Pool Clamp, please. Spinny Ickle Poo Clamp. Wooble Cone. Wooble Cone. It all looks very complicated. Bending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The Fidge Fudge Rotter Whistle Stick. Whistle Stick. Hmm, interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade. We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. But Ben, 
How are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew I'd never find it. <coughs> Oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <coughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever, Gaston. <coughs> Oh. Why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. More, more, more! Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! Ah! It's fun! Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge. Thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. <laughs> I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More, more. Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang. That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Mummy, your wand. I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy... It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy... Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Mr Elf has bought the musical instrument! Hi, Holly! That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. <laughs> what happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. How awful.
Very good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. <laughs> Oh, you're right, Holly. King's work is fun. Oh. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty. If you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. It won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistle down Make me a nest all cosy and round Lovely! Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty Look, there's a crack! Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg No, the egg is cracking on its own is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it, and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That's... Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing, a bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Witch. Goodbye. Bye bye. Quick, run. <laughs> Abracadabra cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. Nanny, 
Nanny, come! Nanny, come! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills, so, um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. <laughs> What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. just said, Hocus Pocus, Plinkety Plonk. Oh, yes. Ahem. <coughs> Hocus Pocus, Plinkety... Nanny Plum! Oh, bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, yes, coming! <sighs> this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> Hurry up! I haven't got all day. Right! You naughty paintbrushes! I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam! Pop! Zip! Pow! More! Bigger! Faster! Now! <laughs> Charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> 
And this is the Blotto Horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Ooh, a cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> Uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> <coughs> And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Look, Holly! Eggs! <gasps> They're hatching! Baby birds! Hello, I'm Ben and this is Holly! Oh, they're so sweet! Hmm, they'd be a lot sweeter if they weren't in our home. They're going! I think they're trying to fly! But they can't fly! I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying and I'm a fairy! <laughs> okay, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. <laughs> bye bye, bye birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. 
but you missed them. I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Oh! Jelly blood! What's happening? Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But the aliens <laughs> like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bar. No! Nanny Plum. I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea, and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! Let's get this party started. Hooray! Musical statues. When the music stops, you have to stand as still as a statue. <laughs> Aha! Raspberry, I saw you move. And you, Nettle. That's because they haven't been turned to stone yet. Ah! Strawberry, you've magicked them into real statues. Of course. That's how we fairies play musical statues. Choose. This is not a fairy party. Turn them back to normal. OK. The big children's ones are going into the library with the others. Now it's time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now... I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Ah! Oh, looks like the twins' party has started. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' ones in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Thistle, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the Two of Hearts. Your card is the Two of Hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle! The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye! Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right. 
right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy, did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh, no, Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now. Who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh. Archie can lift really heavy things. Wow! wow. Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh. Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! How's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr. Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything okay back there? Uh, yes, Dave. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are, Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. <laughs> get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right, I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes, Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh, let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow. A grown-up dragon is ginormous. Right then, home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <laughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. 
Wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. <coughs> there. Mm-hmm. Now, forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. <laughs> Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. <laughs> now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> Here they come! Remember, you're just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. OK. Hello. I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, I'm, uh, pleased to hear it. My name is Miss Cookie. I'm Mrs Witch. Your name is Mrs Witch? Uh, yes, but I'm not a witch. I'm just a nice old lady who wouldn't eat a fly. Uh, that's good. Can you tell us the way to the lake? Yes. Straight down the path and through the trees. You can't miss it. Is that a witch's hat you're wearing? Yes, but I'm not a witch. But you are called Mrs Witch. Yes, and you're called Miss Cookie, but you're not a biscuit. Talking of cookies, if anyone would like a snack... Take a roof tile. They're gingerbread, you know. Thanks, Mrs Witch. Bye. Bye. <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But now they're going to the lake. And that's where Redbeard the elf pirate sails his boat. We have to warn him. Hello? Redbeard the Elf Pirate speaking. Listen carefully. Big people are coming your way. <laughs> I hear them, and I've no time to hide. Pretend to be a toy. Okie dokie, I'm a toy. Here's the lake. I found a toy boat. There's a doll on it. Oh, that's Redbeard. Who's Redbeard? I mean, uh, the doll's got a red beard. Some poor child must have lost it. Let's put it here where they'll find it. Now then, what would be a lovely tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing. Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp. Please help us, King Thistle. Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why's your elf? 
What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic... <laughs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a <laughs> slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs. Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Right, this wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry, I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger, and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. <laughs> What a lot of noise! Take it away! Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no! It's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Wow, a real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes, we can have our holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic. And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum. Have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes. So I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I 
don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr Elf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. <laughs> Let's go snail riding! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. It's a bit sore, isn't it? I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> oh, he swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr L. But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? And now, I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto! <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. 
Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And um, another, and another, and another. Tweety another. birds, and tweety another. birds. Oh. My birds, where did they come from? Out of your hand. Stop it, Strawberry! But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly! Ah, jelly! It's a jelly flood! <laughs> jelly flood! <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Party food! We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh! I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. <laughs> He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you. Oh, now I'm stuck! Ah, uh -huh. I'm stuck as well! I'm stuck too! <gasps> Time for the cake! Keep still! Pretend to be toys! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy! Lucy. <laughs> it's not getting any closer! That's the thing about rainbows. When you walk towards them, they go further away. We're not going to walk there. We're going to fly! Fly? But you're an elf. You don't have any wings. Yes, but I'm an elf with a parrot. Ah, he's a mate. Saddle up, shipmates. Wow! We're flying over the rainbow. It's like a roller coaster. Oh, my tummy! Ah! It's the end of the rainbow. And there's the pot of gold. And there be Captain Squid, burying treasure. Redbeard, this is my treasure, not yours. How did you find me? We just followed the rainbow. Ah, rainbows. They're a pirate's worst enemy. No, they're not. Rainbows are a pirate's best friend. Depends whether you're burying treasure or finding it. Good point. So, anyway, don't let us stop you, Captain Squid. You get back to burying your treasure. Thank you kindly, Redbeard. I was just about to bury it here. Hang on. You can't trick me that easily. No one must see where I bury my treasure. You've all got to close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. So, where did you bury it? Why, it's right over there. Ha <laughs> ha, you're trying to trick me again. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. The rainbow is moving. It's gone to the treasure. Ah, blasted rainbows. Don't worry, Captain Squid. We won't dig it up, will we, Redbeard? No, of course not. Is it home time yet? Yes, I think it is. Today's adventure is over. Everyone pick an instrument. Ben, you can play the spal throttle. OK. <laughs> I've got the thump warbler. <laughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <laughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK, here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah, too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. 
Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stodge you make me. 